The first thing to recognize in this problem number seven is that this is a binomial problem. That is, we're going to do something eight times, flipping a coin. Each time we've got a probability of 0.5 of getting a head. So we're counting up the number of heads that we've got. So once we recognize that this is a binomial problem, we can use R because it's got two very useful uh, functions. One is called the the D binome. And what you put in here is uh, the number of successes. So if I wanted to have exactly five successes out of eight trials with a probability of success of 0.5. Okay, so those are the things that are put in there. This is the number of successes that you want to have, the number of trials, and the probability of success on each trial. So there's the amount that I want is that one right there. Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this. I need to uh, copy that and uh, paste it right into there. Let me uh, check my answer. Ah, okay. So the the density binome is like the, the density uh, norm function that uh, you might have used already before, but it tells the exact value of uh, something occurring. The next question is, at least two heads appear. So that means that I'd get exactly two heads, or exactly three heads, or exactly four heads, or exactly five heads, or exactly six heads, or seven, or eight. Let's see, I was counting on my fingers there. That makes seven different calculations that I'd need to make with this binome and be able to add all of those up. Um, so that's that's doable, but it's it's seven calculations. I'm going to do this in in the following way. I'm oh uh, here's here's the other function that you want to know about. It's called uh, the p binome, and if if I ask for p binome of five eight. 0 0.5. That will calculate the probability of getting exactly 5 or less. So 5 or 4 or 3 or 2 or 1. Okay, it's very much like the p norm function where it was always calculating the probability of that amount or less. All right, so what we're interested in is uh, at least two heads. That means that I want the complement of P binome um, 1, 8, 0 0.5. See, because the probability of getting the, the P norm 1, 8, 0 0.5 would be calculating the probability of it getting exactly one or getting exactly zero. What I want is everything else of getting exactly two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Okay. So there's the amount that I need for that one. And if I can remember how to do that, I got to edit, copy that, and uh, edit. Paste that one in there. Check my answer. Okay, good. The last one is at most five will appear. So that would be five, four, three, two, one, or zero. And I already know how to do that. That's just going to be a, a regular p binome of uh, five out of 8 with a probability of success of 0 0.5. So I can just grab that particular amount, edit and paste it in there. Okay, hope that helps.